Hello and welcome. We are here at the Hampton Court Palace Garden Festival at the Festival of Roses. This is the brand new David Austin English Shrub Rose for 2024, the Emma Bridgewater Rose. And this celebrates the collaboration between two British stalwarts, the famous potter Emma Bridgewater and the well-known English rose breeder David Austin. This is a four foot English Shrub Rose that gets to about the same in width and the most unique thing about this rose is the colour change. It starts with a very warm, corally pink bud, and then as that ages, it fades out to a more lilac-y pink, giving you those antique tones reminiscent in the Emma Bridgewater Pottery Collection. It has a wonderful fragrance, a light to medium tea fragrance with hints of meadow hay, very fruity as well, which makes it really, really accessible. In terms of looking after it, very healthy and very floriferous, repeat flowers very well, and as you can see here, even with the flowers open, there's loads of buds ready to come and flower for the rest of the season. So all you need to worry about is enjoying the fragrance and of course deadheading, which is a wonderful thing to do in the evening. Just go through and cut back just above the next leaf with five leaflets to encourage that second crop of flowers ready to enjoy right through until the first frosts. Here we have the RNLI 200 with Courage. It was our new release this year for 2024. As you can see, it's this gorgeous orange centre which fades to a lovely, a lovely paler yellow. It has this gorgeous apple scent as well. And you can see it on the stand just displayed over here. So it was released for the anniversary of the RNLI, their 200th anniversary. But it also happened to be that two of our people that worked back at the nursery, their granddad actually served in the RNLI for over 20 years at Sheringham, which is a local boat station to us. It needs full sun. It can be grown in a pot or it can be grown in the ground. Uh, it'd be great in the back of a border. It can be grown with things like Napita, would be a great complement to this little one. It has been known to let off the, the odd long shoot as well, so it can also be trained as a small climber around an obelisk. But it's, it's quite a versatile, lovely little healthy rose. This is a, a variety we're bringing to the show for the first time. It's called Pacific Blue. It's actually a German bred rose from a company called Tantau, and uh, it's an exceptional hybrid tea. It's a very, very healthy rose, which is very important to rose growers. It's naturally healthy. It replete flowers freely. Um, it has good vigor and a nice upright habit. It also holds its flowers from bird, opening bird, right through flowering, upright and open. And it has a lovely whirl of petals. To get the best from roses like this, you really need a fertile soil, enough moisture, and a little bit of feeding throughout the season. This rose just here is our newest Harkness Roses launch. It's called the Alfred Robert Bow Rose, and it's named for Alfie Bow's father, who sadly died of brain tumour when he was very young. This variety, as you can see, it's a beautiful apricot-y colour in here. But what you'll find outside is that it will go from apricot to pink. It also has a really sweet, fruity fragrance, which is a great addition as well. As you can see, it's quite a cupped shape. And you can see the stamens, which the pollinators absolutely love. So this rose is really easy to look after. It enjoys full sun. Make sure you feed it while it's in bud and when it's blooming. Any feed really, most rose feeds or tomato feed is fine. Make sure you deadhead it. You'll get maximum blooms that way. And then to be honest, just enjoy it. This rose is called Believe in Yourself. Um, it's launched on behalf of our charity partner, the Stroke Association. It's new and exclusive and it's bred by renowned rose breeder Rosen Tantau. It's a shrub rose and it's going to be perfect for planting both in the ground or in containers on the patio. You'll have to believe me on this, but when it eventually comes into bloom, it's going to be a beautiful lilac-y pink rose with a beautiful open stamen, perfect for attracting pollinators. It's also highly fragrant and it's got this beautiful contrasting glossy green foliage. The perfect Believe in Yourself rose. I've got a brand new rose here that we're launching called See You in Rosé. It's bred by Cordes Roses over in Germany. It's a fantastic new, healthy, fragrant Persica hybrid. This is one of the first Persica hybrids that's got that fantastic fragrance which people love in roses. This new variety is really great because it's actually really resistant to black spot and other diseases which are obviously a real concern when growing roses. But actually if you choose the right variety that's award winning, that's healthy, you've got to be sure to be a good start. 
being a perfect hybrid as well, it's really actually climate resilient to obviously the changes that were coming. So it's going to stand up to that heat a little bit more than other roses would. It's a great compact variety, only gets to about 78 to 80 centimetres, both in height and width. So it's perfect for a pot. Great tips for growing roses in pots is to keep them well watered. Roses are hungry plants, so make sure that the soil medium is a loam based uh, compost mixed with a peat free compost. About 50 50 is what I tend to use and keep them well fed too and they will reward you with lots of great blooms.